hello and welcome to another video on my youtube channel Yoris Invest. so today i have a video for you about the etfs that are notated in swiss francs on the six swiss stock exchange and that deliver a dividend in swiss francs and i'm going to compare the highest swiss franc dividend paying etf compared to the lowest swiss franc dividend paying etf so on the swiss six you have uh, the etfs that are notated there and currently there are 1622 etfs so compared to more or less three weeks and a half ago when i recorded the first video of my youtube channel there were 1618 so there are four more now and of those ETFs, there are 593 ETFs that offer a dividend, so that's slightly less than 37% of them. And they give one up to 12 dividends in a year. So most of them pay half yearly, so every six months more or less, or they pay quarterly. So four dividends every three months you receive a dividend from them. And 7 out of 27 providers actually don't have uh, ETFs that uh, distribute a dividend. That means, of course, that 20 do have at least one ETF that uh, deliver a uh, dividend. But most importantly is the oversight uh, that I'm going to, uh, the overview that I'm going to give now. So, 1622 ETFs in total, 593 ETFs pay a dividend 239 of those pay a dividend and also have the Swiss francs as a currency for trading but of those only 38 also pay out the dividend in the form of Swiss francs so when you want to invest your Swiss francs and want to receive a dividend in Swiss francs you only have 38 options on the Swiss 6 exchange and yeah actually that's uh, really poor and yeah it's uh, I, I looked at all of them and I must say I'm also going to say it at, at the end but I don't invest in any of those funds because I, I don't think they are all underperforming what uh, under uh, under what other ETFs can uh, can offer you. So I'm not investing in any fund that is not, uh, noted in uh, Swiss francs and deliver a Swiss franc dividend. And you could say, okay, uh, when I invest in Swiss francs and I receive a dividend in Swiss francs, I have no currency risk. But that's not completely true because most of those funds are actually hedged towards the Swiss franc and they invest in stocks that are notated in uh, in uh, American dollar, uh, uh, yen, uh, Australian dollar as well, so euro, of course, as well. And yeah, they hatch it so they can pay out uh, those uh, dividends in the form of Swiss francs. So you do have a currency risk only you don't see it uh, outright from uh, the yeah the the things that you see on uh, on your computer screen. So, which is the highest dividend yield paying ETF that is uh, notated in Swiss francs and pays it out in Swiss francs? Well, that's the iShares GP Morgan, the emergent market bond, and that is hedged towards the Swiss franc. The ticker symbol is EMBC and you can pause the video now to note also down the valor and ISIN number and the price yesterday evening was 3.37 Swiss francs. So that's not that expensive so in that way it's uh, relatively easy to, to invest in it with a low, low amount of uh, saving money but on the other hand you also receive small dividends every month 
that's a that's an advantage you you receive every month more or less halfway in the month you receive your dividends uh, for this ETF and in total when you add the 12 dividends together you receive 0 0.1685 Swiss francs and that gives you a dividend yield of around 5%. Then the lowest dividend yield paying ETF that's the X Trackers 2 Global Inflation Linked Bond. So it's both with, uh, with bonds that, uh, that you invest in. And it's important to note that it's the 4D option of this uh, kind of ETF. You have other options as well. I think the 2C and stuff are, uh, are also available. So the ticker symbol is really important for this one. It's the XG7G. And once again, you can pause the video now to note down as well the valor and the ISIN number correctly. And the price yesterday evening it it was uh, not, uh, noted at uh, 106.86 Swiss francs, and it paid out in the past uh, year. It it uh, paid out a uh, dividend in April and in June. So in the beginning of uh, this month, actually, it uh, it also paid out uh, a dividend, and in total you receive 0.5477. Swiss francs and that's a dividend yield of 0.51%. So normally it only pays out a dividend in April. Now it also paid one out in June. So that's something to think about. So normally it only pays uh, one. But I'm also going to mention it uh, in, in the, this next part actually. So the EMBC ETF started in on the 15th of April in 2015. It's a passive fund, like most of the ETFs, and it has an annual fee of 0.5%, and it pays indeed 12 uh, dividends, so monthly. And the XG7G, it started on, actually it's 2012, so the 5th November of 2012, it's uh, but I didn't change it on all the, the slides yet, uh, I think so. That's my mistake. It's a passive fund, it has a fee of 0.25%, and normally it pays one, but this year exceptionally it paid two. And then the performance so the first GA, the, the past year, the EMBC ETF only I, yeah, had, had a negative. Uh, performance so minus 21.38 percent and year to date yeah you can see the reason it's minus 18.63 it's uh, the war in ukraine of course and also the fact that uh, the fed in america increased the the interest rates so that always has a negative effect on uh, on bonds on the performance of bonds and of course the ETFs that are investing then in bonds uh, also underperform. And for the XG7G it's the same. So it has a, a year performance of minus 6.54% and in the past yeah, five months and a few days it, uh, it went minus 11.08%. So you need to, of course add up the the dividend yield in the past year as well so when you do that for the EMBC fund it gives a year performance of minus 16.38 percent and the XG7G although it pays less dividend yield the year performance is better it's still not good at all because it's minus six percent but you, you see in this way that uh, looking only at the dividend yield is not the way to go. It's really important the dividend yield for me. So I like investing in, uh, in ETFs that give a dividend yield. But the year performance overall is, uh, is really important as well. So the past year of course, one year is not a, a reference uh, frame that you have to look at always uh, normally you should look at least uh, eight or ten years but as you can see yeah they are founded in uh, 2015 
or 2012 so for the xc7g i could go uh, almost 10 years back uh, if i would have done that but yeah i as i say i don't invest in uh, these kinds of uh, of etfs and if i would invest in one it would wouldn't be in one of those two here mentioned but actually so in the ETF that, that is the best performing is the CHDVD and that's the iShares Swiss Dividend ETF that is performing the best and it has the advantage of only investing in Swiss stocks so you truly don't have a currency issue there at all and the dividend yield your past year was 3.24% and the year performance was only a negative 0.3%. So in total, it has a dividend, it has a yield of 2.94%. So that's way better than what you get on a normal account, on a bank account right now, on a savings account. And it's also almost six, uh, it's almost 9% better than uh, the the best performing of the two previous mentioned ETFs but on the other hand you have to do your own due diligence and see whether or not this fund belongs in your stock uh, stock uh, portfolio and if it suits your investing strategy and as I said before I do not own any of the three ETFs mentioned in this video so yeah I'm I'm not uh, saying for sure so as as it's uh, noted always in on the bottom of uh, of of my video it's not financial advice it's just uh, an overview of what I see happening on the Swiss 6 uh, exchange and by this I end my video and if you would like to subscribe, please do so and thank you for watching and see you on the next uh, video on my YouTube channel. Bye.